This is a video showing some use cases of the Start Frame Solver. The Start Frame Solver detects the frame at which the attribute reaches given conditions, then creates the Start Frame attribute that can be used in the following examples. In the second example, a time shift SOP is used in addition to the Start Frame Solver to synchronize the confetti animation to the frame at which the character go past the red dot. In this third example, we put the same setup in a for each loop, allowing to duplicate and synchronize the confetti animation on multiple points. For this last example, the start frame attribute created by the start frame solver is used in the pyro burst source SOP to trigger the bursts. You can also use the ID attribute generated by the start frame solver as a cluster attribute. This was a video showing some use cases of the start frame solver. Thanks for watching.